When groups of organisms naturally occur together and interact in a specific area, an ecological community is formed. Within a community, a network forms in which species are connected because of direct interactions they have with each other. For example, consider the diversity of species that inhabit a tropical rainforest. From the birds that live in the canopy created by trees, to the snakes that feed on the frogs, several interactions take place within this community. Because of these interactions, every organism must face the challenge of survival, but in different ways. Each organism thus plays a specific role within its community. The role of a species within an ecosystem is called the species' ecological niche. A more detailed definition of a niche is that it is the sum of all the interactions by a species, both with the living and non-living components in its environment. Keep in mind that a niche is not the same as a habitat. Habitat describes the physical area where an organism lives, while niche focuses on the organism's job or role within that habitat. For example, a dung beetle of South Africa specifically lives in and feeds on the dung of wild elephants and buffalo. Dung beetles live in many habitats, including savannas and farmlands. The dung beetle's niche, however, includes its job of breaking down dung to more rapidly add nutrients back into the soil. As the number of different species increases in a community, biodiversity also increases. However, when biodiversity declines within a community, ecological succession can occur, making an entire community less stable or unable to withstand disturbances that affect its overall structure and function. Ecological succession is a series of progressive changes in species composition that happens after a disturbance in an ecosystem. One example of an ecological succession is the migration of birds during a natural disaster, such as a hurricane. When a hurricane destroys an entire habitat, it can cause species structure to change as old species leave and new species move into the habitat. In the event that a community becomes unstable, two types of ecological succession can occur, primary or secondary succession. Primary succession is when all the organisms have been removed from the environment, as occurs after a volcanic eruption. Secondary succession is when some organisms have been removed from the environment, such as trees being removed from a forest by logging. Let's look at each of these in more detail. Primary succession results in the formation of new ecological communities after a disturbance has completely destroyed the ecosystem and left no soil present. The process begins with a successive stage in which an ecological disturbance, such as a volcanic eruption or a landslide, causes new land surfaces to form and creates a barren area with no soil present. These surfaces often consist of materials such as rock, sand, clay, or minerals. Typically, the first organism or pioneer species that can colonize when no soil is present include fungi, bacteria, or lichens. They're pioneers because they're capable of living in an environment that is not conducive to most life forms and they give rise to other colonies of organisms. Gradually, over many years, more successive stages will occur, increasing biodiversity within a community. Secondary succession occurs when new ecological communities are formed in an area after a disturbance removed most of the organisms, but there's still soil present. Ecological disturbances that cause secondary succession often include the destruction or partial destruction of vegetation. Disturbances such as a fire, windstorm or flood can cause this type of destruction but still leave some or all of the soil intact, allowing for the regrowth of communities after the disturbance. Typically, organisms that were present before the disturbance remain after the disturbance ends. Pioneer species pave the way for colonization of new organisms or recolonization of existing organisms. After eventual successive stages, biodiversity increases within this community. When a community is stable and species turnover has reached a steady state at the end of a succession sequence, it is called a climax community. 
At this point, ecological succession has essentially stopped. However, the possibility does exist for the succession process to start again if future disturbances occur in the community. For example, a population of antelope living in a grassland would be considered a climax community when the population size remains constant. The plant life in the grassland is sufficient to support the number of animals living there, and the birth rate of the antelopes matches the death rate from all causes, such as age, disease and predators. If, however, a wildfire were to destroy a significant portion of the grassland, there would be a shift in the balance and succession would occur.